distance modulus formula derivation. And if you don't know what the distance modulus is, I suggest going um, back to my other video on the distance modulus. And yeah, I'm just going to start uh, deriving this. And if you don't know, this is, the distance modulus equation is apparent mi magnitude minus the absolute magnitude, and that's equal to 5 times log base 10 of the distance minus 5. So to derive this, we can we can use um, the we can use the flux equation, in, which includes apparent magnitude, and that is going to be uh, m a minus m b is equal to negative two point five times log base ten of f a f b. So this equation basically states that if two stars A and B have fluxes F of A and F of B, their magnitudes are related by this equation. But there's a there's something that we need to do. We need absolute magnitude in this equation. So what we can do is instead of having two different stars and this is modulus only has one star, we can just say that mb is is the magnitude 10 parsecs away so that's basically the absolute magnitude we can say that that mb is going to be the magnitude 10 parsecs away and not a new star because that's not what we, that's not what we want so so after we understand that, that it's the difference between the apparent and absolute magnitude. So we, let's just say that we, so to understand this, let's say that we have a star A that we want to figure out. Then MA would be, let me just, let me, let me make this smaller. MA would be the apparent magnitude to the star, like what we, you, you would see on Earth. But MB, what would you, what, what would be what you would see 10 parsecs away from the star a but we don't need mb we don't need another star in the distance modulus so you can just assume that that would, that's the magnitude 10 parsecs away like you're viewing from an that they're viewing the star from 10 parsecs away so that'll be the absolute magnitude so that's basically the same we can re rewrite that instead of ma and mb because that's that's unclear But we can keep the flux is the same because we still need the flux ratio. Okay, so now what we can do is find the flux ratio. And that's going and and that's gonna be f of a over f of b. But we know the inverse square law. So the inverse square law. So what is the inverse square law? If you don't know, the inverse square law is basically relating the flux to the distance. So it's saying that the flux is inversely proportional to the distance squared. So we can use that in this case. So the flux for for f of a, that's basically um, the, the flux that, re that we're receiving on Earth. So we have to use the distance. We need to use the distance as a variable because we don't know the distance to start. And we have that in the distance modulus. So that's going to be equal to 1 over d squared over uh, over f of b, which, is, which we defined before as the absolute magnitude. And the absolute magnitude is 10 parsecs away. So we can say that it's 1 over 10 squared. So we can see that it's 1 over d squared times 10 over 1 squared. So it's going to be equal to 10 over d squared. OK. So what do we do now? OK, so now the thing is we have to find the log of it, which is, which is what we have here. So the log base 10 of this value is we can use we can use the we can use log functions or the log rules yeah so log of this value 
is going to be equal to. Let's first write down the log rule for the division. So that's going to be equal to um log. Wait, sorry, log. Sorry, log rule for exponents. I meant x y equals to um y times log of x. So we can use that in this in this equation, and we we can get that it's going to be equal to two times log of 10 over d okay okay so now that we have that let's multiply let's multiply it by negative 2.5 so we have negative 2.5 so why are we multiplying by negative 2.5 it's because we want to consolidate the right hand side of the equation so negative 2.5 times 2 times log of log of 10 over d and that's going to be basically equal to negative 5 times log 10 over d. Well, we have to use another log. We need to use another log, log, log rule. And that log rule is for uh, division. So log x over y is equal to log of x minus log of y. Okay. So um, now we have negative 5 minus, sorry, negative 5 times log of 10 over d. Um, what's log over log of 10 over d? Well, let's well, well, let's write it out. Okay, so we get that is log 10 minus log d. So, Um, yeah, so lo what's log 10? Log 10 is 1. So negative 5 times log, wait, sorry, I did not mean to put a log here. So, um, it'll just be negative 5 times 1 minus log d. Because that one is base. Log of 10 minus log of D. And basically log of 10 is one. So five times one minus log D. Okay. So we have negative five plus 5 log d for the right hand portion of the equation well you see we have we have the we have m minus big m for the right hand side of the equation so combining both sides of the equation we get m minus big m equals to 5 log d minus 5 which is the distance modulus equation so we have successfully um uh, derive the distance modulus equation. Okay, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you on another video.